Josh. Alright everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already and today we're going to be going over a clinic day. So I'm out here at an outpatient clinic, a uh, little, little different than an inpatient setting so a lot more relaxed of a day so I thought I'd pick up the vlog and show you guys what that looks like. So without further ado, let's mask up and let's get in there. First thing what you want to do is log in onto the computer, check your schedule. Luckily, I don't have that heavy of a schedule today. And then you want to check in with your MAs. They're the ones that are checking these patients in. They can give you a little bit of a lowdown on what they're here for, uh, any vitals, any specific things you should be looking for when you're talking to them. So they're super vital and very helpful and actually really nice. First patient ready here. A lot of these are going to be telephone and video visits. So the way we do the telephone visits is just call them on the telephone. If they need an interpreter, we call the interpreter who then calls them. So it can get a little convoluted with doing these things online with telephone and video visits. Uh, video visits are done over a program called Epic. Um, on an iPad, you kind of just look at them and talk to them over that. Uh, a little difficult to do a physical exam even that way, but uh, it's the best we got with COVID. So that'll work with what we got. Hello, this is Dr. Singh doing your visit today. How are we feeling? Occasionally with all things technical, there is going to be technical problems. So usually with these video visits, somebody can't get their microphone on, somebody can't get their camera on. And for this individual, it's an 80 year old lady with a new cell phone. So it's going to be tough to uh, kind of get in contact with them, especially when it seems like the phone is dead and it's going straight to voicemail. So just wait around for that. So while we have a second here, I can tell you guys a little bit about the clinic. So clinic work is definitely a lot more different than in hospital where patients are sick. Uh, there are way, way more different conditions you're dealing with. Uh, over here, you're dealing with your more standard coming in for uh, reflux disease. Uh, something's hurting with lower back pain is hurting. Um, things like medication refills, things like disability, totally different kind of uh, uh, approach to your patients. Um, in a way, it's easier. Um, some patients can be, unfortunately, even harder in the clinic where you're dealing with a bunch of these problems, figuring out where to send them, uh, specialists are pushing you there, and especially at these clinics where like PCPs will sometimes send people here, your primary care will send people here uh, for whatever reason. Basically dealing with a totally different kind of patient out here. So I love it. I enjoy it. I don't know if it's something I want to do in the future permanently, but uh, it's really nice. <laughs> Cue the presentation music, please. Patients, please do not show up 29 minutes late to your appointment. And that's the morning done. Let's head over to lunch. So today is a fun day because that was general outpatient clinic. After this, we're going to get some lunch and then head to rheumatology clinic. And man, I love me some rheumatology, so let's head over there. A lot of you vegetarians out there had a huge response on that story that I posted. So much like tips and, and dishes that you guys make and tips on how to eat out and uh, and get like these grilled cheese secret menu items and stuff. So I see you out there. I'm going to try some of that stuff. All right, go you make some paper, boy. I realized the place I had to drive to next was pretty far and then I got out of that last patient pretty late because that patient decided to show up late and then one of them wasn't answering their phone so I was already out a little late and then I had to come over here so don't recommend this you should probably plan this better but unfortunately you're probably gonna have to skip lunch luckily I think I should be out of this clinic by four or five um, and haven't eaten all day today so this is what happens sometimes okay sometimes this is what happens and i'll probably grab a snack and i'm not gonna go hungry the entire day i'm not that dumb um probably gonna grab a snack into those vending machines there's a um, like a little cafeteria in there so i'll probably grab something at this next clinic so it's gonna be from one to five uh sometimes i'll get out at 4 30 if they're generous but um most of the time five and it's most of the time it's actually 5 30 so I don't know how that's gonna I don't know how that's gonna work out for my stomach, so unfortunately just gonna have to wait. But I am in that awkward time period where I have five minutes to talk to you guys and five minutes to kinda of hang out in the car. Uh, usually just you know do a little music jam sesh, put the chair back, relax a little bit. But Jabi music has been killing it lately. Uh the Jeet's got some really good hits out. I can't stop listening to his songs. Thank you for so many of you guys heading over to watch the kind of study with me series that I'm doing. So if you're looking for a study buddy, so I want to hang out with, have a chill time, kind of get some studying done go ahead and check out those videos on this channel okay masked up 
Let's go, part two. Got to log into the computer here and check up on some patients. And then this one, my next visit is going to be a telephone call. So we're going to give them a call. Um, and then I think I have an in-person one next. So you see the patient, you see them yourself, you come up with your plan, you do physical and all that stuff. And then you go and present to your attending, kind of like a medical student. Big difference being, you know a lot more, you can put in orders, you can get stuff started for them. So in rheumatology, the bread and butter is lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, you see gout, you see uh, osteoarthritis, all these kind of autoimmune diseases. A lot of you medical students out there uh, learn about it. It's the bread and butter of, of rheumatology. Rarely, you'll see some cool stuff. Like I had a patient the other day who had Ehlers Donlos. You might see those people with like really stretchy skin, way stretchier than this. It could stretch up to like out here. Um, you, there's a rare association with POTS syndrome or postural orthostatic tachycardia where uh, these individuals might stand up and they, their heart rate will go insane and just that baseline their heart rate's really high so you do occasionally see some really cool stuff. I had another patient who would randomly get fevers out of nowhere ended up being some like Kikuchi uh, lymphadenitis or some kind of crazy rare syndrome so occasionally you'll run across some pretty cool stuff and to me even this kind of basic stuff is pretty um Pretty awesome. So let's talk about what I actually do. So when a patient comes in, I first go through their charts, especially for these specialty clinics, I go to why they were here last time. Uh, so for rheumatology, you kind of go through why were they here last time, what medications are they on, it's super important. For example, say a patient has giant cell arteritis or temporal arteritis. A lot of medical students out there probably know about that. The vasculitis, uh, where some of your arteries get inflamed and it's an auto-inflammatory condition where you have this kind of destruction of your arteries and the walls of the arteries and you get all this inflammation there. Uh, patients usually have headaches, vision changes. You're, if you don't treat it with steroids immediately, you can get vision loss. Uh, so for a follow-up appointment, you really want to know is this patient having headaches and you headaches. oh geez something's in this room um you want to know if the patient has headaches vision loss uh sometimes giant cell arteritis can be associated with polymyalgia or rheumatica so you want to know if they have shoulder pain hip pain um a lot of these patients have fibromyalgia as well um especially uh elderly women 50 or and older usually fibromyalgia is a component in that whole thing so all these questions you want to ask uh put together a plan put together your note and then go present it now we just wait for the attending so when you present your plan and the attending doesn't change anything about it that's the best feeling and they just say okay nice yeah we'll do it it's a good feeling <laughs> doesn't mean anything if your plan is not exactly right but it's lit when you get it right okay 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 out of here at 5 30 i'll take it i'll take it so let's get home get something to eat because i'm about to pass out again i do not recommend that at all please bring a snack i don't know why i didn't bring a snack today because some days you just don't know if you're gonna get food or not so you gotta have that snack in your pocket i missed it today so uh it's very unlike me usually i have a snack in my pocket usually i have a banana or something going on but uh you know i'm usually uh, one of those weirdos with like a white coat and in the outside pocket i have a banana in it but uh it is what it is today so let's get home and just get some food i luckily made some food over the weekend and i'll show you guys what that is So what we're gonna eat is stuff that I meal prepped before. And then props to anybody that knows what this is. Comment down below. We forgot to get the mail earlier, so we're gonna head over there and pick that up real quick. As an update, sometimes I get asked, what am I planning to go into next? What's the next specialty I'm planning to do? I have found one that I find really, really interesting. So I will keep you guys updated because I don't want to let it out there right now and then I change it and then I'm interested in something else and then it just goes on. But there's one that I'm strongly, strongly interested in. You guys can guess in the comments below if you want, but uh, I'll let you guys know in a future episode of this. Already being an individual who would like to stay home on the weekends and chill and uh, do my own stuff, 
this has made it far, far worse to have any kind of social contact. So that kind of really sucks. Really waiting for the gyms to open up. I need to get back on a basketball court ASAP. Oh, crap. And I just woke up from a nap. And very unintentional nap. I was in the middle of this. And then I knocked out. So, what time is it? The one amazing thing about where I live is there's a dog park right there. And as creepy as it is, I love it. All right, it's nine o'clock. It's not bad. We just with uh, one thing to do. Probably not gonna work out today either. <laughs> just, just how it is. Uh, what am I gonna do with the rest of the day? We have one hour to kill. All right, guys, we're gonna call it on that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I've been posting a lot more on the channel. I'm gonna be doing vlogs. I'm gonna get Brandon Shaman back on here. If you don't wanna miss it, make sure you subscribe. Also, follow me on TikTok if you haven't. I've been spending some of my little bit of free time that I have getting on there, and it's a quick way for me to get some creative stuff out there uh, relatively easily compared to YouTube. <laughs> and uh, it's definitely niche comedy, but go ahead and check it out. And my Instagram as well and the rest of the family. Check it all out, guys. I love you guys so much. And as always, and we'll see you guys in the next one.